Okay, hello, welcome back. Uh, Hi, everybody. Yeah, we are here for a, another art walkthrough. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing a bit of a different material this time. Yes, it's a wooden tankard. And it's wrapped by, uh, I think it's bark or something like that. Yeah, some kind of bark or maybe like um, a rope even. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what it is. But we do a lot of, you paint a lot of metal and fur. Yes, <laughs> tons of metal, tons of fur. So now we've got some, some wood on here, which I guess the tavern signs are mostly wood. Too. Yeah, the tavern signs are painted wood. Yeah. Um, so they're a little bit different. But this is just plain wood. And this is based on a, a wooden tankard that was found uh, on the wreck of the Mary Rose, which was a ship that was sunk uh, right outside of England. And uh, it's like Henry VIII. Henry VIII. I think Henry VIII just sat there and watched that sucker go down. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great story of the this ship in the Swedish. I think it was. It was yeah, the, the Vasa. Yeah, the Vasa. It was like the biggest ship ever built. And like they named it after the the royal family of Sweden, and then he was the Swedish king and queen were there for the inaugural voyage of it, and like it just like tipped over and sunk in the harbor. Yeah, <laughs> it just like got stuck there. <laughs> yeah, they dug it up in the 1900s. But mm -hmm. yeah, so this was a uh, a wreck, but it's cool because it gives you an insight into like some of the equipment that and the stuff, or everyday stuff that they would yeah. have used at this time period. Lots of cookery. Mm -hmm. And uh, utensils and things like that. Um, a lot of uh, weapons and clothing were preserved. So this was very interesting. And this was at a time when I was at a... Uh, I couldn't think of anything to draw. And um, I was so frustrated. I hadn't painted anything in days. And I saw this online. I went, I'm just going to paint... And by the way, I was drinking beer at the same time. <laughs> and, uh, and you have a mug that looks almost exactly yes, like this. Yes, I do. And I thought, well, this will be fun. And it got me out of my funk, and I was able to start painting again. So I like that. Just kind of like well. do a thing so that you kind of break your yeah break your artist block and mm -hmm. get going again. And here um, you see that I put down a, a brown color, and it was a burnt sienna. And now I'm painting the darks in here using a watered down black. And after I put in all the darks, then I'll put lights in over the top. Um, I'll probably go through and put another kind of a black wash over the whole thing to darken up the sides and to show a light source too. So. And then I'm not like drunk over here. I have my baby has got the hiccups, which is what you're hearing <laughs> yes. here yes. in the background. And yes, ben, Ben's, uh, Ben's little boy is hiccuping in the background. Not us. Yes, not us yet. Mm -hmm. All right. So here I turn my board around so because my hand has to paint these weird directions and you don't want to go upside down or something. So I'll turn my board so that my hand's comfortable with the brush stroke. So that's oh, I why see. I have to spin it around a lot. And here I'm putting on another layer of a wash down black to make this thing a little darker. And then I'll be putting uh, highlights on top of that. So you kind of washed it with an orange, and now you're washing it with yeah, black. like it's a, it's a, like a burnt um, sienna, so it's a little orangey looking. That brown is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I'm painting in the direction of the uh, of the wood. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that'll that'll ha if so if brush strokes show up, it'll give you like a wood look to it. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was wondering if you're just washing the whole thing in the same color, why are you painting them in the directions? But that makes sense. Yeah, and now I'm using a ruler so that my lines are straight. And you notice I'm pulling that ruler up off the paper so it's at an angle. And you'll run your brush just along with that ruler. So this I get one of the f one of the few things I did actually learn in art school. <laughs> yeah. How to draw a straight line. It seems yeah, like a with useful a ruler. skill. Yeah. It's, I use it all the time now. Yeah, two years of art school that uh, God knows how many thousands of dollars my parents <laughs> paid in it. I do use that same technique. So you see it's starting to look a little more three-dimensional here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really pops it out a little bit. Yes. And then we'll go on the edges and darken up the edges so it makes it look even more three-dimensional. 
And then, so as this being something from like the 1500s, this is the kind of mug that you'd see in a D and D kind of setting. Yeah, right? there's mm-hmm. no like, and that's mm-hmm. one of the reasons I, I painted it. Um, I th- I thought it was just kind of fun. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to drink beer out of a wooden mug? Man, I mean, that's <laughs> you just you look at it and go, "Oh, I'm thirsty." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are they treated on the inside, or does the wood just eventually like? There are some that have like a like a like a pitch or something in mm-hmm. there. They call it brewer's pitch. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. And that'll seal the inside, and um, apparently they used it in barrels and things like that too. That makes sense to kind yeah. of keep the wood from getting waterlogged. Yeah, and also uh, keeps it uh, watertight. Yeah. Because the last thing you want is your beer leaking out all over your table before you can drink it. I mean, that's no fun. Right? (laughs) Oh, where's your beer? Oh, it's all over the table. (laughs) Then you have to clean it up. (laughs) So now you've hit it with the hairdryer, you've added the darks. Uh Um,. And you've said before you kind of go dark to light. Yeah, I uh, I go from medium to dark, and then I put my lights on top. So now we're going to start hitting some highlights here in a minute. I'm just finishing up these last darks. And it looks like uh, Ben's baby... He's thirsty, too. <laughs> he's like, hey, Brian, look at that beer. Mug. This kid, he's like a monster. <laughs> yes. Hey, 21 more years and you can have one of these, kid. Yep. <laughs> it's going to seem long, but it'll pass by real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so here I'm putting on some highlights. And it, again, it's more of a lighter brown color. And we can see this thing is really starting to look more three-dimensional here. Yeah. And then you left the lighter color on the on the cross pieces. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. And again, ruler time. And you can't have too much of a jacked up uh, brush. You mess. You mash up the brush for this. Yeah. Sometimes for to do wood uh, texture, and then sometimes you have to have a really crisp brush to do the little highlights on the end of things so so I'm constantly switching brushes here and here we're putting some highlights on these little dings and yes and breaks because when you drink a lot of beer you (laughs) will get dings okay this will happen to you (laughs) I guess it's something you don't think about with painting it but you have to think about like where the dings would be yes Probably on like a real one. Yeah, because the um, <clears throat> this is a nicer version of the one they dug up. The one they dug up is pretty beat up looking. Yeah. Um, so I had to clean it up a little bit, so it doesn't look. So it, this looks used, but it it doesn't look you know beat up and destroyed, uh, like the one they pulled out of the shipwreck. Yeah, because you want it to look more like a something that exists. Yes. So something that could exist in the D and D world. So mm-hmm. like this is. This looks like a nice mug yeah. that you would want to drink out of. And now I'm taking white paint and just painting around the edges when I colored outside the lines. Mm. <clears throat> and I accidentally made a mistake. So I just clean up the edges so it's a nice, crispy looking painting when I'm done. And then you'll add, you add the light reflections on the reflective surfaces, mm-hmm. but not on the yeah. wood. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And there we go. Cool. There you have it. So that is the, uh, the, the, the pitcher and, or the mug. Um, all right, cool. And we're going to see you guys next time. Yeah, thanks.